After months and months of searching for the main lead in Ready Player One, Steven Spielberg's adaptation of the Ernie Cline novel of the same name, the bearded one has chosen Ty Sheridan. Sheridan has made a name for himself in movies such as Terrence Malick's Tree of Life and Jeff Nichols' Mud. He will next be seen playing Cyclops in Brian Singer's X-Men Apocalypse. Sheridan joins Olivia Cook and Ben Mendelsohn, who have already been cast in the movie. Ready Player One's story takes place in a virtual world called Oasis, in which a teenager, Wade Watt, finds himself competing in a treasure hunt against ruthless foes after the game's founder dies and offers his fortune as the grand prize. The movie will be released in theaters March 30th, 2018. Dennis, what do you think of Ty Sheridan as the lead in Ready Player One? Well, I haven't read Ready, Ready Player One yet, so I don't know exactly you know, how this character and if he fits this character. I like him as an actor. He was in Mud, which was my favorite movie of 2012. Um, yeah, this is one of those things where... I could read the book or listen to the audiobook before the movie comes out, but I don't want any preconceived notions about it when it, when it comes out. Um, but as far as him, I, I'm excited to see him in this. Uh, I, I'm much more excited about this movie than the BFG. I know a lot of people love that trailer. <laughs> Didn't do anything for me, but Ready Player One for Spielberg, I think this is a good fit. I agree. It's also a good fit for I mean Ty Sheridan because what I was worried about with Ty Sheridan he did Mud, which I agree, I loved. And then he did Joe, which is one of the better Nicolas Cage performances in a long time. But uh, but he pretty much played the same character. He was good in it, but played the same character. I'm like, oh, these, he's going to be doing these roles over and over and over again. And then he did that zombie movie, the, the zombie apocalypse Scout's movie. Guide. Yeah, yeah, he just did that. Not that it was a great movie, but he did something different. Now he's going to be Cyclops in, in Apocalypse, and now he's going after a movie like this. This goes back to what we were just talking about with Nate Parker. Another kid with amazing talent that hasn't had the public exposure yet that I think that he deserves and that he will, more people will know and should know about him. And what better way to do that than with Steven Spielberg on Ready Player One? Well, I can speak intelligently on the subject because I read the first page of Ready Player oh, One. Yeah. Uh, and Ty shared it's the perfect it, guy. Was it the dedication? It was yeah. like dedicated to yeah, blah, exactly. blah, blah, blah. That was it. He read the title. <laughs> I saw it was dedicated to, not my name, close the book. Yeah, yeah that was it. Uh, I uh, think this is great. This kid's career arc is perfect like you said christian you start out in these small indie movies you get some notice and recognition then you slowly move your way into maybe a smaller part in a huge blockbuster he's going to be an x-men apocalypse this is the next jump for him and i think he's going to crush it he's one of the best young actors out there right now i thought he would have been a good peter parker but maybe this is an even better fit for him doing a film like this so i, I agree in. with you because then you put him because he's going to be cyclops you know mm -hmm. and we'll probably have him in that for a couple of uh movies and to have him involved in that one franchise but then to do the bigger movies that i don't know again i haven't read ready player one either is, is it does it open itself up for a sequel i i don't know i'm don't know. assuming all i know is it has a lot of references to the 80s 80s yeah. movies video cool. games television stuff like that it's gonna so, talk, yeah it's when just, this kid wasn't gonna, even born what does he know about mario brothers it's gonna do right what pixels did wrong it probably seems like. probably yeah, it and, seems and then he's oh. joining olivia cook and ben Mendelssohn, who are two talented actors themselves yeah so. well i mean look it's it's, it's spielberg hasn't done for me this Spielberg, when he's doing movies like Lincoln and and you know the the really heavy dramas, that's he's doing all those right. He hasn't hit like for me in the big blockbuster movies in a very long time. I think it was the last one that he did the blockbuster ones that really crushed. I can't remember. I mean, look, look, look Bridge of Spies wasn't exactly the blockbuster, but, again, still, still, but it did get nominated. No, no, no but I, so but maybe I, like a War of the Worlds or Minority yes. Report, or you know, I thought Tintin had the blockbuster feel to it. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. The yeah. score was great. It just didn't resonate with audiences the way that I hoped it might. And then we all saw Indiana Jones four, and you better stick with the first. Three. And then remember, they're mo they're mo they moved the date for uh, Ready Player <laughs> One off yeah. of the, the Star Wars Episode Eight date, and now it's in March now instead. Mm -hmm. But you, yeah, and that's yeah, just, I think that's a perfect date for it. And you know, the second they announced Episode Eight. Before they did it, they called Spielberg. Yeah. They're that close with them. Mm -hmm. They probably said, "Hey," he's like, "Yeah, we'll move, we'll move, but let's let's keep it there." But they, and I think before that, they're like, "You want to do our movie?" Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> he's like, "I'm good, yeah. thanks." But I'm very curious to what you guys are thinking about. For, oh, first of all, that that Spielberg question too. What's the last one that you liked? Was it minor, or that, you know the big blockbuster ones? Was it was it Minority Report? Was it Indiana Jones? What was the last one that he did? Or Tintin? I actually I think it would be Tintin for me. What was the last big one? Not including you know the Oscar buzz movies. Those. What's your favorite Spielberg movie that he's done in the last ten years? Um, and also, it's Ty Sheridan, is he the right pick for Ready Player One? If you've read the book, even if you haven't read the book, what do you think of Ty Sheridan as an actor? Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.